Welcome back. Ooh. Well, this is a turn up. I didn't expect this. There's nothing around to grab. I was just like, wait a minute. Is there anything around I can actually grab and use? The beast mode. Going full beast mode, but... Do we say that anymore? Beast mode? I don't, I don't recall. Is that still a thing? I'm still doing it, even though I just said that there's nothing around to grab. Like, Can I grab the bowling pin? Like, could you get lost, man? Like, look how slow he is. Like, now I'm moving. Now I'm moving. Can we grab the bowling pin, though? Like, I want to I wanna grab the bowling pin and just smash it around someone's head. Punch him in the face, mate. Can he use the bowling pin? Oh, I was hoping there was going to be something with the bowling pin. Ah. Oh. I feel like I've been cheated. Where's my bowling pin nonsense? I promise not to do it again. Yeah, better not, mate. Better not. Anyway, this leads into my point that I was going to bring up at the start of this video. People are asking, like, what are my plans for this series? Like, what, do I plan to play the others? It depends entirely on whether or not I enjoy this one. I think it should be obvious at this point. I wanted to do stuff with the bowling pin. Y I mean, what do I need to say on the matter? It should be obvious. Oh, Mark Bowl. Okay. Hello there. I'd like to have one of your bowling lanes. Hello. How can I help you? Hmm. Let's play solo for now. I'll play alone. That will be 500 yen. Oh, I don't have enough. Oh, wait, I do. I, I have quite enough, yes. Please. Play. Got it. And how many frames would you like to play? Let's go with 10. Because I'm, I'm going to play around, you know. 10. Okay. Enjoy the gum. I hope I will. Okay, how does one bowl? Okay, position the ball, adjust the spin. Yeah, it's gonna be weird figuring this out. Set direction and power. Well, we'll play around. That's the best way of doing it. Set the ball with up and down, and or up and down. Okay. Let's go with the 12 pound. All right, let's... When selecting the ball, you can choose where to stand. And... Okay. Actually, give me a proper tutorial on this. Press X to determine the direction. And the throwing power, okay. Hmm. hmm. That was terrible. What's that for a tutorial? That's terrible. Alright. Let me have a go now then. Game. There we go, here we go. Let's go bowling. Alright, so I wanna go. Oh, the Venom Lord. I like the name of that. Oh dear. It's like spin, 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 spin. Mm. Too much spin, too much spin, too much spin. But I got some. You know, I'm happy with that. Okay, alright, 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 alright. a bit more involved mm. than I thought here. Yeah. I'm playing a bloody bowling game. <laughs> with the lush. You want a little, little spin. We're gonna get that going there. Just, just a little, little tad, little tad spin there. Okay, okay. Mm. Yeah. Yes, yes. We got a spare. <laughs> this game's so stupid. <laughs> Here we go. Full power. No spin whatsoever. It's slightly off to the right, which is nice. Mm. So it might give me a little bit. Oh yeah. Yes. Strike. Okay, lush leaf again. I'm liking this lush leaf. Ooh, I need a bit of spin on that. Let's go with three times on the spin, I feel. Ooh, back a bit. Huh. It's coming in nicely. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, come on. Knock it. No! No! Ah oh, yeah, I know. That's so disappointing. So disappointing. Need a little bit of spin on this, I feel. Just, just, just a tad. Just a tad. Huh. Come on, that's got it, that's got it. That's the spare, that's the spare. 
Yes. I'm not getting this lush leaf. Okay, we need a bit of spin. I'm gonna say just the one to the left there. I don't feel I need loads. Oh, it's just not enough. Just not enough. Yeah, I know. I know. It could have been better. Feel straight. Straight. Just go for it. Just leave it as is. No, no spin. Nothing. Just go. Another spare. Fantastic. Dip, 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 dip. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna leave that. We're gonna leave that. Yeah. Do do. This, this again. This game's so silly that I'm enjoying this so much. Ooh, we need quite a bit of spin there. Still thinking two, two, two on the spin though. Yeah, 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 yeah. Lovely. Yo, too straight. Yeah. Ooh, nice on the power, but I feel one to the right on the spin. Yes! I mean, I could play this all day. Just... Yakuza what? Just... So it did. There was a, a lot or something. I don't know. Bowling game. This. Huh. Go on. Oh, this is just. I'm just pro at this now. Hell yes, yeah, strike. Ooh, that's a bit far off. Meaning the two on that. Hmm. I mean, come on. Five straight. Come on. Need a one on that. Mm. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. I'm telling you, I'm a pro. Ooh, that wasn't good. Two to the right. Two to the right, yeah. You could feel it. You could feel it in your bones. Two to the right there. Spin. Ah, I mean, it's spinning around. Ah, oh, yeah, I know. I missed that one. Probably wasn't enough power on that. I think one to the left here, one to the left. That should be enough to get it. Spot A. Not bad, right? Wow, your bowling form is exquisite. Sub stories. You think so? It really is. The angle of your bottom when you release the ball is optimal. Oh. Where did you learn to play like that? Yeah. I'm self-taught. No way. That's just amazing. You know how to position your body to the best effect. Your form, it's really delightful. <laughs> All the dots. Oh, I'm sorry. It's just that I kind of have a bowling form fetish. When I see someone with good form, I sort of forget myself. I see. I guess this job's perfect for you then. Hi. Yes, I think so too. My name's Emily. Oh, hello. Hope to see you here more often. You have to become a regular, okay? That was it, alright. <laughs> yeah, maybe I will. It was nice to meet you. Friendship with Emery, alright. This could be the beginning of a friendship with Emery. Interacting with her gradually. Well, gradually. Fill the friendship gauge. You can check the status of this gauge at any time in the pause menu's completion list. Vote your friendships with Emery and see what happens. Ah. That's intriguing, then. I mean, who said I wanted to leave? Like, I was like, no, you're out of here now. I was like, hey, who said I wanted to leave? Right, so, anyway, map, 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 map. 
I wanted to find... Where was the shrine? There was a shrine around somewhere, wasn't there? Because like, I need to find it so I can get my... CP sorted. Disco club. That's the batting place. The arcades, here we are. Is that the shrine? I know I saw it somewhere. Is it just... Is it not one of these? Is it one of the... Is it that? Is it a food place? There, that's what I'm after. Can I mark that? Is there any way to mark it on the map? I'm just going to have to learn where to go, so I want to go down here. Da, da, da. So, the head to the phone booth. I think that's probably the wise decision here. Someone did tell me, hello, if I held down X, I would actually run goons. Right, so let's go back to this form, because I enjoy this form. Enjoying this game, I think. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure. I'm sorry. You will be, mate. You will be. Right. So what we got down here? There's a food place. I do want to buy some healing items of some sort, though. Maybe I can do that here. Okay, we got talk. Welcome. Are you ready to order? Order. What would you like? Um, let's go the extra large. What does this do? I'm assuming my health goes up. This is great. Yep, health's up. We need to find a place to buy some items. Of those. Thank you. Please come again. Go. Do I get any other perks for doing that? Okay, so what's across the street? Is it just another food place? Let's just look at the map. Ah, so this looks like you can buy drinks here. Can I buy it from like, like order? Ah, hello. What can I get you? See the menu. This is our drink menu. See, ooh, long tea. Way too full for this. Okay, so we can't. Okay. And which takoyaki would you like? Let's go for the egg one. We too full for this. We too full. I just buy it anyway. All right, fine. Just have the drink. Ah, it just tastes amazing. Slightly drunk now. Thank you very much. Please come again. I right, still need a shop to buy stuff. That's the wrong menu. Okay, so I need like one of these, don't I? The 24 hour drugstore rather than beef bowl restaurant and stuff like that. Place for drinks and singing. Enjoy erotic video. Set. I mean, I've got to test that at some point, haven't I? I've got to. So, anyway, let's go to the drugstore as well. We need to get our CP sorted. All this type of stuff. Where are we? Nakamichi. Nakamichi Street? I mean, they really need to sort out their trash problem. Really, that's the wrong menu! Where am I going? That's a good spot to eat. That's what I want down here, then. Just making sure it was the right direction. Yeah, you better get out of my way, mate. Okay, so here's the shrine. Uh... Where's the producer? If he doesn't show up for the location shoot today, we're screwed. Oh, he had that huge argument with the director at the last shoot, remember? He's probably still butthurt. Yeah, our director is something else. He won't budge an inch, even when it means butting heads with the producer. I heard a lot of the crew can't deal with him either. Maybe it'll be a strike. Oh, whatever the reason. If we try to shoot on location without the producer, the director is going to really boil over. Maybe we can find someone who can stand in for him. Oh, sure. Someone who can stay calm and cool, while taking all the crap our director dishes out. We need a guy with an aura of toughness. A guy who can command respect just by being in the room. I guess guys like that aren't exactly dime a dozen, huh? Uh. Yeah, you're right. Not like a guy who can do all that is just gonna waltz down the street at us. Huh? Huh? 
bold demeanor, the aura of an insatiable authority, and that faint hint of danger. That's our man. The poster child of a producer just walked onto the scene and into our lives. Wait, please, wait. I'll say, I mean you, sir. You with the cool aura and magnificent poise. Yes, hmm, indeed. It looks like this actually, um... Suit shop over there. Yes, I, I meant you. May I have a minute? We're a production crew for a TV show. What a television crew, one from me. Yeah. Well, we're going to be shooting a short segment at a restaurant here in town for a gourmet food program. But we're down a man, and we're desperate. Will you help us? Daddy. What? How could someone who doesn't know the first thing about show business be useful to you? Yeah. No, no, no. With an order that magnificent, you don't have to do anything but stand there and look authoritative. Uh, I, I can't see. Your order is so bright, it's dazzling. This reeks of BS. No, honestly. We're not trying to pull your leg. We're deadly sincere about this. We'll do all the heavy lifting. Well, actually, we may ask you to move a few things and help with some of the simpler tasks, but... Helping out in a TV show, huh? Guess that's not something everyone gets to experience. Please! It has to be you. No one else can do this. No kidding about being desperate. Should I help? I'll help out. Fine. I'll help out. It's not going to take too long. <laughs> that's great! Thank you very much. Oh, my name is Mori. I'm the director's assistant. And this is Kawaguchi. Our cameraman. Oh, I thought it was going to be Memento and you'd be Memento Mori. Hi, I'm Kawaguchi. Delighted to meet you. Uh. I'm Kiryu. Good to meet you. So, what am I supposed to do? Yeah. Well, the show's producer is supposed to be here, but something came up at the last minute. He can't make it. So, we need you to stand in for him, Kiryu. Nani. Wait, what? I don't know what a producer does, but isn't that role pretty important? <laughs> no way! You might think that, but all a producer really does is act all high and mighty. It's a total fluff job. Is that it? Might have no idea what I'm doing, though. People will know I'm faking it, won't they? Not to what, eh? Once we get you into some clothes of a more executive style, you'll totally pass for a producer. You producers have a look? Sure they do! Hey. Now let's get you looking like a big shot. Is this how I end up with a white suit? What the hell? Is this? It's so 80s. Oi. Guys, do producers seriously dress like this? <laughs> Absolutely. You're a picture perfect producer. Isn't that right, Kawaguchi? Hey. Uh, okay. So, what am I supposed to do? Oh, this is that suit shop I saw. Well, our director is on the way. All we need you to do is deal with him and keep up with his demands. He can be, uh, kind of a diva, and he says some weird stuff, but just try not to set him off and you'll be fine. Mm. I'm having second thoughts here. But I'll see what I can do. Uh. What are these things in the middle? It's obviously not... I've only been to like a few Japanese restaurants. It's like there's some kind of cooker of some sort. Like someone knows me like exactly what it is, not a vague idea of what it is. Like exactly what it is. That's what I want to know. It should be here any minute now. Like I know what it's for. Just want to know exactly what it is. Oh, oh. the director's here. Here he comes. Kiru, get up. Try to act natural. Act natural. Got it. I am natural. Ciao, lovelies. Or oh, lovelies. Alright, good morning. Mori! Guten Morgen, baby. Oh, God. Uh, good gl gluten Morgan to you, too. Don't ever change, Mori. I'm counting you today. Bling, bling, cha ching, baby. Uh -huh. Oi. What in blazes? Where's our intrepid producer? Where is my leader? Sorry. The leader called in sick this morning. 
Can you hear? Be standing in for him today. Can you? Never heard of him. You the real deal, baby? Yes, of course. Kiryu does a lot of work on location overseas. This is his first domestic shoot in a while. That's probably why you don't recognize him. Very well then. C'est la vie. <laughs> I don't care who you are. When you're on location with me, everyone has to pull their weight. Capiche? Oh, the dots. Kiryu, this is our director. Papillon Kato. Uh. I'm Kiryu. Good to meet you. Hmm, he's stiff as a stiff. Drag this guy out of the river, boys. Guess what they say is true. People in the television business do seem to be pretty shallow. This guy's irritating, but I better play along so he doesn't get suspicious. Uh -huh. There a problem, Kiryu? If you can't return a simple greeting, you're history in this biz, lad. Figures. A proper greeting is important in every walk of life. What should I do? Hmm. Discourage disrespect. I like that one. Starting out right is important. Have to make sure I don't get disrespected. Uh? I'm Kazuma Kiryu. And I'm the producer signing your paycheck, pal. Don't disappoint me today. Huh? Ah. Can you? Ah. Can you? Right. How about, uh, give me a little space here? He won't look me in the eye. Did I screw this up? No, I'd say, like, you put him in his place. Whether that's right or not, I don't know, but... That's what I wanted to do. Oi. So, anyway... Where's that babbling bit of window dressing? She's on deck for our dining report. Window dressing? Is that TV jargon? Hey. Yes, about that. Our reporter, Nagasawa, is running a little late. Uh? Then why the fuck are we here? It was your job to lock down the talent. You did that, didn't you? Sorry. Got to get her the schedule in time. He's on the way right now. You incompetent imbecile. If we go over on time, we'll be screwing over the restaurant. You're a nice guy, Mori, but this shit doesn't cut the mustard. I'm sorry. Sorry. This director... What a change from the cheesy goofball a few seconds ago. Guy's got one short fuse. Uh -huh. Here she comes. Sorry. I'm sorry I'm late. No problemo, baby doll. You're patient as pie. You were not. <laughs> Ooh la la. Don't you look ravishing today. <laughs> oh, Kato. Don't be silly. Okay, gang. Let's get this party started. See you play. Fantastico. To your marks, everyone. Let's roll it. Oi. Mon dieu. The hell is this? Where's the... Eras... Erasap? Oh, sorry. Oh, we'll get it. Sorry, can you... Can you grab the Erasapel from the table there and bring it over? Erasapel? I can check what's on the table. That's a start. Uh. Sure. Uh, hold on. The hell? Era, era what? There's some pretty random things on this table. Was well, it erasable? <laughs> Which one do I take? Hmm. Erasable must have something to do with the props. It's gotta be the rubber. It's, it's the only thing that makes sense to me, whether or not it's right. Uh... Go for it. Why, why would it be here in a restaurant otherwise? Why? The erasable has to be this. <laughs> I don't care if we get it wrong. Oh. <laughs> I don't care if, we, if it's wrong. It feels like it'd be right if it's wrong. Yeah, I brought the erasable. Thanks, Kitty. Can you sit it on the table? Got it. I set it on the table. <laughs> it's so wrong. It's so wrong. <laughs> So proud of himself as well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's an eraser. Uh. Yeah, it's an eraser. Isn't that what you need to erase something? <laughs> well, yes, 
it can erase, sure. I burn through them back in school where I rolled up the residue and flicked them like snot too. But that's an eraser, not an erasable. Was I wrong? Completely. How are we supposed to film with this? In showbiz, an erasable is a prop that's eaten or consumed. And you eat food, it's erased from the set, get it? No, I get it. Sorry. Oi. Amateurs. Surrounded by amateurs. Get it together. Sorry. <laughs> Damn, I held up the shoot. I'll try and get them right, but that, it's, it's that desire to get them wrong is funnier. <laughs> that looks delicious. There's so much, but it looks so tasty I could eat it all in one sitting. Go on then. Now, what are we waiting for? There we go. Good. The shoot's going along smoothly. Pardon me, Kiryu. But we have to still life that erasable light up. We have to still life that erasable light. Yeah, okay. So. Would you be a doll and grocery it for me? Uh... Sure. Grocer, they're erasable. What could that mean? Um... Hmm... <laughs> it's just... <laughs> it's that thing of like, I want to get it wrong. <laughs> it's like, I don't think it's that at all, but screw it. Hey, here's a grocer. Brilliant! Thank you, Kiryu. Let's take a look. Oi. Wait, who pray tell is this man? <laughs> just not the idea. He just brought a grocer. He just brought a grocer. He's a grocer. It took some persuading to get him to come from the grocery store and just short notice. <laughs> just a random grocer. And just what are you proposing we do with Yaguchi? Hmm? Uh? You're the one who taught me to grocery. <laughs> when you grocer prop, it means to tilt it at an angle. Like how a grocer displays produce on the shelf. It's easier to film still live that way. How could you not know that? So that's what it meant. Sorry, Yaguchi. <laughs> it's been a mistake. Just to... <laughs> I imagine like a real life situation where this is happening. He just turns up with a grocer. It's like... What? Eh? I delayed the shoot. Damn. Again, I want to get it wrong. Constantly. Because it's funny. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I might be enjoying this game. Maybe. Thank you for a wonderful meal. It was delicious. The shoot's almost done. Sorry, Kenny. Can I get you to cheer these props? Oh no. <laughs> It's about time to strike the set! Daddy. What does jeer these props and strike the set mean? <laughs> it's like, it's that. It's clearly removed, but it's like, I'm gonna taunt the dishes. <laughs> I got this. Yeah. Uh, thank you? <laughs> these dishes are pathetic. Look at these jokes. Uh. That's right. Oi. What's right? What are you laughing about? Camera's rolling, you lunatic! Oh, whoa, whoa, Kiryu! What do you think you're doing? You told me to jeer at the dishes. <laughs> That's what I did. No, no! In our studio's lingo, to jeer means to pull away. It's not a term for striking the props on a set. Daddy. What? Sorry, baby doll. We need to get your closing comment one more time because of this idiot. Places, everyone. I guess I screwed up the shot. <laughs> so what? <laughs> uh, thank you. We got a grocer. We only got a grocer. <laughs> thank you. That's a wrap. Let's blow this popsicle stand. It shoots over, I guess. You got a grocer. This game's amazing! Thanks for helping, Kiryu. <laughs> the production jargon was a bit of a challenge, wasn't it? No! I just got it wrong on purpose. Like, the first one, yeah. But then I got it wrong on purpose. Yeah, it was. Guess it wasn't really useful to you. Oh, no. Uh, thanks for stepping up. Put us on sh short notice. 
We really appreciate your valiant effort. You're a great help just being here. This is our thanks. We've got a Tornier plus. Which is good. Could what? I have got better from that if I'd... Uh-oh. Yeah, but could I have got better from that if I'd have done that right? Uh, what's going on here? Oh. Producer... Leader or leader? Did the shoot go down okay without a real crew? The producer? Uh. What the devil? Why would you even bother showing up? <laughs> you need it on a teleprompter. We're here to beat some manners into you. This is for working us like slaves light into the night. Who the hell do you think you are? We've got into broadcasting because we love television. But thanks to you, we don't have time to go home and watch TV. That's no way to live. What can I say? It takes blood, sweat, and tears to make a TV show. Fortify, gentlemen. Hmm. Big talk as always, director. Who made you so important that you can treat the producer like this? Huh? I've had it with you. That's why we boycotted the shoot today. We're on strike. Boycott it? More like let your personal drama get in the way of work. You call yourself professionals? Yep, all you want. This is the last time we'll ever see you. So let's end this shit show over. On a happy note. For us. Shit. Oh my gosh, what will we do? I got this. Huh? Kill you? Oi. Hey. Hold it. Huh? Who the hell are you? The name's Kiryu. I'm the producer here. I can't have people harassing my crew. Kiryu, I... Wait, you're my replacement? You just doubled my fun. I'll show you how irreplaceable I truly am. Come on, boys. We'll deal with this faker first. No, oh, you don't know what you're... Oh, hello. Pocket dimensions. Menacing man. Right there. Ooh. Lovely. Did they pull this guy off a bodybuilding show? Forget this. Yeah, you better run. Those guys disappeared. Can you? You all right? Uh. Yeah. Thanks a million. Can you? <laughs> it's the least an amateur like me can do. So, you were faking it after all, Kiryu. You? you knew? I'm no fool. I knew something was off the moment we met. You're a fish out of water from hello. <laughs> Couldn't fool a pro after all. But if you knew, why didn't you get rid of me right away? Because, Kiryu, you, you did the best you could with such a passion, despite not knowing a damn thing. TV is not a gentle mistress. A single minute or even seconds of footage can take dozens to hundreds of hours of hard work. The struggle is, as we say, real. The challenge demands an incredible level of precision, experience, and skill, but there's something even more important than those. And that, mon ami, is passion. Passion. I believe TV gives viewers hopes and dreams. There are people out there who can be inspired by TV to change their jobs, or even their way of life. I think TV is a medium that has the power to change people's lives for the better. You might be right about that. Uh, Most deaf. That's why we make programs with passion, no matter how hellish the process may feel. As creators, we are the dream weavers. It's our duty to pass those dreams on to others. You're quite a director, you know that? <laughs> Pitch bosh. I'm just an overbearing loser who can't even hang on to a solid crew. I want to bring the same passion I have in my work out in them. I can never seem to get through to them. All the dots. Yeah. Director Kato. What you just said, that moved me to my core. I have a lot of growing up to do. I want to do more. I want to make better programs. 
I want to create shows that bring people joy and inspiration. I want to channel our passion into the art of film. So please, we want you to keep honors like you do. Guys, <laughs> sounds like you got through to them, don't you think? And they get your old-fashioned sense of passion. Kirio, thanks. Honestly. You truly are a great producer. So you won't stop giving us hopes and dreams, right? Uh. Au contraire, mon frère. I'll show your dreams you've yet to even see in your mind's eye. Okay, boys? Production meeting. Let's drill down a plan for some better shows. From the top. Eh? What? We just wrapped. Have mercy. <laughs> All the dots. What the heck does from the top mean? <laughs> really? I mean, that's not a phrase just in TV, but okay. Well, that was a lot of nonsense. Where'd my suit go? That looked amazing. Oh no, what's going on here? What's going on here, lads? Hey? Hey? I'm bummed that Cafe Blend closed all of a sudden. Then being open all night was a huge deal. Heard anything about it? The guy running the place just skipped town? Mm. Nah, they just moved shop. They're across from Mock Bowl behind Theatre Square. There's a new sign up. Yeah. Oh, really? Wait, why bother moving if it's only a few blocks away? Yeah. You got chased off by those guys. Tachibana Real Estate. Yeah, they didn't leave the guy much choice. Same with all the other tenants in that building. A lot of them either moved shop or just shut, shut for good. Oh, seriously? Well, that's a relief, I guess. I'll have to hit them up behind Theatre Square next time. Oh, we got a place we need to go then. But we will be ending this part here. What's this? Disco Astro Park. I assume I can't win there, but that just looks amazing, doesn't it? Like, wow. But yeah, we're ending this part here. In the next part, we'll probably head off to... Hello. Didn't expect to see you here. Hey, Kiri. <laughs> Hmm? Well, if it isn't Kamuji. Keep running into things. They're just everywhere. Thanks again for before. So, this is where you do your thing, huh? A punch out artist, was it? Yep, that's right. That's me, that's my job. Couldn't make much sense of Bacchus's explanation. What is it you do exactly? Oh, rules is simple. You knock me down or knock me out and the prize money's yours. Prize is double the stakes. Customer puts up 10,000 and if they win, I give them 20,000. Half of that's up for a front fee. So he only needs to fork over the other half. Punch out artist rules. Pay Kimochi the amount equal to the entry fee in advance. The time limit is 60 seconds. If you get knocked down or knocked out, you lose. If you hit the challenger, you also lose. Hmm. Mm. I see. People actually put money on this. Frustrated drunks. There's your best bet. Come at you at a nice straight line, easy to dodge. Punches are garbage too. I advertise to everyone I see. So most challenges are guys looking to blow off steam by hitting someone. Not tough guys looking to win some cash, huh? Well, alright then. Oh hey, if you're interested, why don't you try it out? I could bill you as my apprentice. Why would I want to be your apprentice? Mm. Truth is, nobody's ever took me down before. Word's getting around, so I get more gawkers and less challenges. Who have an apprentice? I reckon that change. They want to see if they could take you on. I get tons of challenges again. Makes sense, but I don't take too kindly to being made anyone's apprentice or pupil. Top back is the same. Well, if I has any pointers to give you, I'll be sure to let you know. I can make a pretty good teacher. Strange guy, but this Kimoji seems like the real deal. You learn more about the fighting style. Sure, why not? Tell me how this goes. Alrighty, check out this price list. Customers get to choose one of the courses. Alright. Some of these are pretty pricey. Plenty of people rolling in cash around here, so... Figured I might get lucky. One guy picked the million yen course once. Well, very well if you win, but you have to pay out if you lose, right? That's a pretty big gamble. Eh. Yep. That's why I turned down the million yen guy. He looks a bit too tough to risk it. Do I even have those courses? 
It attracts challenges. No way a homeless guy the likes of me could pay out, right? Anyways, you don't seem keen to earn that way. So, Becker's plan sounds best. Becker's had a plan? What was it? He starts by looking for a 10,000 yen mark. Then, if that works out, we shoot 100,000 yen. Dodge our way through another bout, and we set our sight on a cool million. He's dreaming if he thinks that'll work. I suppose 10 million yen and 100 million yen would be next. No way anyone would take up on that bet that high. Mm. Never know, though, right? Don't knock it till you try it. Who pays out the prize money? You, of course, kitty. Just to make sure you're covered if you ever lose. If you go smoothly, the money will come flying in. Fine. Alright, let's start with 10,000 course. Just give me a shout when you're all ready with the money. Don't slack off with your training, neither. Alright then, we'll end this part here, and the next part we'll see about that. But I do also want to head on down here to exchange my CP. And then we'll head off... Where was it? It's behind the theatre. This is the theatre area. Yeah, behind it, somewhere. Somewhere around there. If I stand still, he'll tell me, won't he? So it's somewhere around here is where we need to go anyway. It said behind the bowling, didn't it? I'll find out where we're meant to go in the next part. So, we're done for now. We'll see you in the next part. Ta-ta!